Hello, my dear friends. I am Stanislav Shamayev, a licensed business immigration and corporate attorney in Miami, Florida. Today, we're going to be discussing the topic of how to open up a company, register a company in the US if you are a non-citizen or a foreigner. You know that I'm not only doing business immigration and investment visas and talent visas, but I also do know the corporate law and do know how to structure the companies, how to register them, how to create the contracts between partners, how to prepare a company for investment and other corporate issues. Quite a few questions under the videos to tell you more about how to start a company in the US and how to do it properly. So I decided to respond to your requests and do this video specially for you. And exchange guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know that on this channel there is the best and the most valuable news and uh, topics that I discuss that have to do with business immigration, talent visas, investment visa, and corporate law in the US. Also, smash the like button if you like my videos, if you appreciate what I do. This, is, this really motivates me to create more content for you. Okay, before we start discussing this issue, uh, let's take a step back and establish who can actually open up or, and register a company in the US? I should tell you right away that I've read so many things online. I've heard other attorneys talking about it. I heard uh, non-attorneys, uh, unlicensed uh, paralegals to talk about this. And there's a lot of myths and legends surrounding this topic. So let's clear this up. Anyone in the world can open up a business in the US. There is no limitation on, on where you're from, what you do, what kind of business, which state, with some exceptions. Of course, the sanctioned countries and their citizens and some circumstances cannot open the business, but this is, however, a very small fraction of the population in the world. So if you are from India, from China, from Europe, from Indonesia, from Argentina, from Brazil, doesn't really matter you can open up the business in the states and you can do it remotely yes you did not mishear me you can do it remotely without coming to the states the only reason that you have to come to the us is to open up a corporate business account however even that could be bypassed let's talk about the consideration you need to think about before opening up the business first of all and foremost do you want to open the business for the purpose of doing commerce in other words making money or you want to come to the states on a work visa or immigrant visa uh, and of course if you want to come on visa you also probably want to do commerce but the first option when you open up the business just solely for the purpose of making money without consideration of future immigration or uh, maybe work in the us and things like that and of course I, I cannot go very deep in each topic and discuss it in details but of course it's going to be really different how you structure the company how you invest the money into it, how you create the corporate paperwork for this company if you want to do it for the immigration purpose. What kind of visas could be good for uh, opening up a company that is O1, L1, E2, EB5 and maybe some other visas, but these are the main ones. So make sure that you know the exact purpose why you're opening up the business. Consideration number two you have to think where you will be opening this company. And there's a lot of myths and legend concerning uh, Delaware, that people say that if you open up the business in Delaware, you don't have to pay the taxes and things like that. This is not true. If you open up LLC in any other states and even some uh, corporations in certain states, you don't have to pay the state taxes state taxes and federal taxes these are two completely different topics you have to pay federal taxes regardless which state you open up your company but some states they do impose additional taxes on the companies but like i said most if not all u.s states do not impose state taxes on LLCs and some don't even impose the taxes on the corporate structures. So don't be confused about Delaware. If you don't want the government to know 
of your country or the yet or the us that you the one to own this company then delaware might be a consideration but also there are other states that provide uh, anonymous registration and even those states that do ask about the ownership you can also bypass those requirements and do it absolutely legally okay number three not only the state but the county and the city why you need to know that because each county and each city in the us impose additional permit or license requirements so you need to study this thing before you open up your company because those things can get quite complicated so find the best solution the easiest way for you to do this thing number four you have to decide what type of company you will be opening is it llc is it partnership is it limited partnership is it limited limited partnership is it corporation and then you have to decide how irs is going to tax your entity and that could be as partnership as s corporation as c corporation these are not the all options available but probably the most popular but usually it boils down to two things it's llc or corporation and it's taxed as partnership or c corporation why not as corporation well because you as a non-citizen not as a foreigner no resident cannot be taxed as as corporation however when you come to the states and live here for a little bit and become a tax resident then you can do the s corporation for your company and if you want to know more about uh, uh, taxation in the states and what's the difference between s corporation c corporation partnership please let me know in the comments below this video once you made the choice between these options you need to know if you are going to be establishing this business by yourself or with partners and if you choose the second option meaning with other people you need to think beforehand about what kind of corporate structure is going to be in the company who is going to do what and things like that and that is done by way of uh, drafting the corporate documentation for LC, it's an operating agreement. For corporation, it's bylaws and shareholder agreement. There's a bunch of other paperwork that could be done in order to structure the business. However, these are the main ones. So make sure you have those documents drafted if you want to go with the partners to start the business. So now you have your company registered. You know what, kind, what type of company that is. You know if you have partners, maybe you drafted some corporate paperwork. Now is the time to get EIN. It's employment identification number for the company. It's like tax ID for the company. And you can get it by filing the paperwork with IRS. Usually the uh, certified accountants do this. This process may take up to two months. Uh, however, recently we, I've been seeing uh, they do it for about two weeks. But be ready to wait for two months in order to get this number. Once you get this number, it's time to open a business account. And for that, you have two options. Option number one, you can come to the States, take your articles of incorporation and that you get when you register your company and the EIN number and go to any branch of pretty much any bank in the States and open up a business account. However, if you cannot come to the States, you have to do it remotely and that's going to cost additional money we have partners who do it for three thousand dollars so if you're interested let me know we can we can make it happen now you can transfer the money to this account and start doing your business and again all the steps that, that i mentioned they have to be made with consideration whether you want to do just a commerce or you want to use that company for some type of immigration or work a visa and of course it's impossible to give you particular examples what needs to be considered because each visa has its intrinsic things has its insights and of course each your situation is individual and it's practically impossible to give you a checklist what needs to be considered that you can get when meeting with me online on a zoom uh, planning be it a business planning or immigration planning and we can build a strategy for your case including the immigration path and or just your commerce in the states so if you guys want to come to the states using one of the work or immigrant visa you can always go down below this video 
and fill out the questionnaires that I prepared for you in order to get the free evaluation of your case and let you know if your case is good or not for immigration to the States. And if it's good, when we meet online and talk about your issues, we can incorporate your immigration in your corporate structure in the US. Smash the like button if this video was good. Please subscribe to my YouTube, press the bell button. Also, I have Instagram in English and TikTok in English. All the links are below this video. I'm Stanislav Shamayev, the lawyer of the future. Your future begins here. Good luck.